What's good, my fellow creators? Today, I want to make an episode on Neville Goddard's work. If this is a subject of interest to you, please stay tuned till the end of the episode. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. Neville Goddard wrote that the first step in the renewing of the mind is a burning desire. One needs to have a burning desire to be transformed in order to change the mind. And burning desire is something that for those of you who have studied Napoleon Hill and more specifically the book Tick and Growage are aware of. This is the first chapter of the book Think and Grow Age, Burning Desire. Now, I always say, and for those of you who are familiar with my work, I'm the first one to say that we have to let go of desire. But that's after you realize what is your desire and after you are clear with what you truly want. Because there's nothing wrong with desire. Not at the beginning, at least. I always say that, I mean, not only me, but when you look at people who achieve a lot, who get a lot, you will realize that most of the time, those are the people who want it the most, hence the burning desire. I'll give you an example. I have a twin brother and a younger brother. And since our childhood, I was always the one who wanted more. And because I'm the one who always pushed for more and wanted more, I'm talking about desire, I always got more than my brothers because I was the old. I was willing to go the extra mile to get what I want, be it by action, mental techniques, or things of the nature. Anyway. What I'm trying to say is like when you see a person like Kobe Bryant and the way he walk, the way he works and the way he does stuff and the success he has achieved, he had achieved while he was still alive. You can see that he had the burning desire to win. So what I'm trying to say is there's nothing wrong with the burning desire because oftentimes it is the first step towards leading us to the techniques the actions, the effort, the discipline, the cultivation of the mind that we need to get this success we want for our life. This lifestyle we want in our life. This person we want in our life. Now, the burning desire is at the beginning. There's nothing wrong with the burning desire at the beginning. What becomes a problem if, if this burning desire becomes an obsession that leads to frustration, to lack, to doubt, to fear, to negative, unwholesome emotions and thoughts. That is when it becomes a problem. If we have this burning desire as an excitement and we use it to transcend it, to transmute our conditions right now, and we are able to go from the burning desire to the techniques of living in the end, visualizing, affirming, and being at peace and letting go, finally, of this intense yearning. Now, that is a great thing to do because that is the way to go about our lives and to get what we want. So, yes, remember, even Neville Goddard, who is the biggest proponent of living in the end and letting go of the desire, even he said that it all starts with a burning desire. So if now you find yourself in the situation where you have this strong desire and think it's wrong, it's not wrong. Keep it in your back pocket to understand that this burning desire, not only will it help you to give you the incentive to go forward towards what you want and do the techniques and the actions and the discipline that you need to get what you want, but it will also keep you persevering when things get a bit shaky, quote unquote. That's all I have to say. As I said in my previous video, I wanna keep those small study videos short to be straight to the point and very, very understandable for everybody. Thank you so much for listening. If you want more of this type of content on Joseph Murphy, Joseph, 
what did you say? Joseph Murphy, Neville Goddard, Napoleon Hill, and all those good stuff, and my personal opinion and my teachings. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the description box below. If you want any coaching, please also check the description in the box below. Thank you so much. I am Sebastian, and I'll see you very soon.